Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. So to explain how bond yields work, we need a bond. So here's a bond holder, his name is John, and he has bought a $100 Z Corp bond, which effectively means he's lent $100 to Z Corp. And in return for the loan, he gets this bond. It's a piece of paper saying that Z Corp agrees to pay the holder $100 in one year at an interest rate of 5%. So if John holds on to this to maturity, all right, he is gonna get $105 from Z Corp. But of course he paid 100 bucks for this, so he is actually gonna end up with a profit of $5, which is of course 5%. And that is the yield, the coupon yield on this bond. But what happens if John decides to sell this bond before maturity? All right, this is when you start to see the weirdness of yields kick in. All right, so he decides to sell it to June here. As you can see, June is standing on a seesaw, because I feel that a seesaw is the best way of explaining how yields work. So we've got price over here, we've got down and up in price, and we've got yield across here. All right, so say June has managed to bargain John down to $95 for this $100 bond. Well, it means that she's moving down the scale here, down the seesaw, and it's gonna tilt like this, of course, like any seesaw does, which means that you're gonna see the yield go up like this. So let's do a little bit of math. She's gonna get $105 from Z Corp. She paid $95 for the bond, which means that her profit is gonna be $10. That's double what John was gonna get, and that is in fact a yield of 10%. So you can see that as the price of the bond has fallen, so the yield has risen, all right, just like this on the seesaw. But what happens if June decides that she really, really wants this bond, and in fact she's prepared to pay $101 for it? Well, in this case, she's now gonna move this way up the seesaw, which means it's gonna tilt in a different direction, it's going to tilt downwards, so you're going to see the yield fall. So some more math, she's going to get that $105 from Z Corp. She paid $101 for it, which means her profit is going to be $4, which is a yield of 4%. So you can see that as the price rises, so the yield falls. And that's the basics of how yield work. So it's important to remember all this when you're looking at buying a bond, because you know the chances are that if you misunderstand how the, the difference between prices and yields work, the inverse relationship there, well, you could end up very bad. Badly needing a drink.